Alright, what is up guys? Code 29 is back with a brand new video. Today's In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add background music to your Roblox game in 2021. Let's get right into it. This is going to be a fun episode. Two very short things or options for you. They are really simple, really easy, so let's get right on into it. So, uh, the first thing I want to do is show you how you can get uh, background music. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the toolbox. If you don't have that open, you can go to home up here in the top and click toolbox uh, and it'll pop up somewhere on your screen. And then where it says models, you can go down to audio. And here you have all these uh, different songs or audio stuff, right? And you can click play right here to listen to the music before you um, listen or before you uh, put it in your uh, game. But uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm not going to actually play it because I don't want any copyright strike or anything like that. But you can feel free to uh, check out your music before you put it in your game. So go ahead and in, uh, just drag a song into the game and it'll appear in the workspace over here. So this sound is the song and you can rename it uh, Wired for Wonder or whatever the song was called. That's what this one was called and that's what I dragged in. So there are two things that you can do, like I said. Um, the first one is simply just going down into properties, right? Uh, and if you did, uh, you have Explorer and properties, make sure those are open because the Explorer is where you can rename stuff. The properties. Uh, where you can change the properties and um, you need both of these open. Um, so down in the properties you can click looped and playing and if you check both of those it will play this uh, song forever and ever uh, in your game and you've already added background music. It's as simple as that. But if you would like to add more than one song we're gonna go ahead and write a script for that. So if uh, that's all you wanted, just one song, then there you go, you're all done. Please do subscribe, <laughs> but um, if you do want more than one song, like a loop of different songs at a time, let's go ahead and script that right now. It won't be hard. So inside of Workspace, let's just insert a quick folder. And in this, uh, we'll call this folder Music Folder, okay? And here we can drag in our Wired for Wonder, and let's drag in a couple more songs. Let's drag in these two, okay? This one is called Skeleton Death. And let's go ahead and drag that in. And this one is called Chasing Lights. And let's drag that in. So I have my three background music songs. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a script into Server Script Service by hitting the plus. Let's just call this Music Handler. And what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop. So what's a for loop? A for loop, I have a video on it, and if you would like to, go ahead and click the top right corner. Um, but a for loop basically loops through everything. Uh, an impairs loop loops through everything, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to loop through everything in this folder. Um, so we're going to uh, go ahead and say for... Uh, well, first, let's just give it a couple seconds. Uh, well, I want to make sure that everything's loaded in. So let's just say... Um, local music folder equals to game dot workspace colon wait for child music folder and then we can just uh, wait a couple seconds just to make sure everything's loaded in and we can say for i comma v in pairs um, and then we can say music folder colon get children uh, do so we're uh, and then drop a line we're basically looping through everything in this folder and we can say v dot playing equals to true. This used to be a little different. Um, that's why I'm mainly why I'm redoing this um, this uh, sorry this tutorial. And all that you're gonna do now is you're just gonna say wait and then we can say v dot length or time length right there. So these are two properties because we're looping through every song in the music folder. Make sure you only have sounds in the music folder. Um, so we're looping through them all and all of them have this playing, and when we set it to true, it's going to start playing, and um, and then we will wait the amount of the song length, right? So um, and then it's going to skip to the next, and then it's going to go on to the next song, and then wait that amount, and it's going to go to the next one. But first, we just have to make sure we add v dot playing equals to false. So we're saying we're going to start playing the song, we're going to wait until it's finished, and then we're going to stop playing the song, and let's just go and hit. Let's go ahead and add wait one right there, and uh, it's going to wait a second, and then it's going to start playing the next song. And then at that point, all you have to do is just wrap this in a while loop so that it repeats forever. So we should just write while true do up at the top, and then add a little end down here, um, and that will finish 
that script up. It's as simple as that. You can add as many songs as you want into here. So it's a really simple script, but there, there you have it. That's how you can add a uh, background music to your Roblox game. Uh, you can, like I said, add just to add more, all you gotta do is just drag one in, uh, drag a song in, and put it inside of the music folder. That's all you need to do from now on. It's so easy after you've done that script. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers as at the time I'm recording this. Uh, so thank you guys for all the subscribers, and thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and, uh, let me know what other videos you want to see in the future in the comments below. That's it for now. Signing off. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.